Hey guys, welcome to Simple Futures and our Tuesday night, March 28th videos. Taking a look at these markets right now and the markets that we're looking at, it's the Euro. Now, we are beginning to see some weakness in the dollar. As you can see from this March 6th low that we put in at uh, 105 level that we've rallied this market up to 109. Now, if we come back in and take a little bit bigger look at this low and how it's working we're up at the top of the channel now we're beginning to see some momentum change off of the squeeze here and hadn't got a macd cross yet but uh, i'm looking at these levels now this was a scalper alert that we had here a scalper alert over here down at this level, this level. We don't have one up in here. If we get one and then get this rollover off of the squeeze, it may give us an opportunity to pick up a move back to the 100 period EMA off of the Euro. The Canadian uh, has not been as strong, but I think that may be a function of what we're also seeing happen in the crude. We're seeing a little bit of a move here. We saw a momentum shift. Uh, but we've, we're going to have to take out uh, to really get people excited about this off of the Canadian. We're going to have to get the uh, uh, above 75.50 level to probably attract the, the bulk of the buyers in. Now, take a look at the pound. The pound is getting up into some levels where we've, we've had, what, one, two, three, four trips up in this level. Here's, here's another one, five, if you take this high right here. Uh, five trips up in here since October. And where are we headed? Uh, again, up at the top of the channel here is going to be some resistance. We did get a close above the 100 period EMA, but is it going to hold? That's going to be the big question. Now, why am I mentioning all the uh, the currencies in here? And let's take a look at the yen real quick. Yen's picking up some strength too. One reason is because we've got a crop report coming out, prospective planting report in the grain markets. Corn, which is down at a low, I still think that we may be testing back down at these levels somewhere in the uh, below 360 before planting season's over with. In the soybean market, I still think that we're probably maybe test 940. We aren't there. I've been calling for 940 for a long time, and it's been it's been pretty good track to the downside here from this level that we put in up in January. So uh, just been selling off hard trading because of the the choppiness of the market, but still longer term, I still think we've got another 30 cents to go on the downside here, and the currencies will affect that. A uh, weaker dollar will attract some buyers coming in because they're able to buy more grain with a, uh, with a weak dollar. So watch it close. Friday we've got a prospective planning report at 11 o'clock central time. Don't miss it if you're a grain trader. If you aren't a grain trader, you ought to watch it because it's going to probably be some pretty good fireworks. Big moves in it. How long it lasts, I don't know. But uh, just giving you a heads up on what we've got coming down the pipe. Guys, good trading. Make sure you're using your stops. Trade smart. Trade with a plan. Trade with a system. See you later.